Good morning and happy Thursday from the Bean. He hasn't been feeling very good today, so I've just been kind of like hanging out with him and I wrapped him up in some blankets and I have the heating pad under him and he seems to really like that. So hopefully we'll figure out what's going on with this little crazy guy. I'm gonna eat some breakfast, which by the way, I was supposed to start a diet today. My diet consisted of mainly like changing the way that I eat. So I was gonna cut out butter and other things that I shouldn't be eating, but I didn't do that. So tomorrow I'll start my diet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so weak. All right, I'm done with breakfast and I had to do a load of dishes. So while this is going on downstairs, I wanna show you what I'm gonna be working on soon upstairs. Loud noises. Okay, so first off, I would, I would like to start this with, I didn't turn this light on. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I know it's bright in here, but that light was not turned on by me and probably not Tim because I don't think he really comes in here. I come in here sometimes because the dogs, the dogs love to be in and around the guest bed. But uh, long story short, what I wanted to show you guys was this room is currently the guest bedroom and I know that it looks kind of funky. We have a lot of stuff we need to do in here, but it's next to the, what is now the office, but it's kind of been closed off for a while because there was a bat situation up here and there are currently still bats above this room in the attic because now that it is winter time, we missed our time to remove the bats. They're hibernating kind of, like it's too cold for them. So we need to wait to do anything to this room until we can get the bats out. And we also have these huge cabinets that we removed from somebody's home that Tim actually made these. So they told us that we could take them if we wanted them. And we thought, sure, yeah, we could totally use them in this kind of office. But I'm trying to figure out if they'll fit against this wall right here. I was just trying to kind of like eyeball it and see if that was a possibility. So the other thing that's weird is that it's this deep. So it's about, I don't know, like from the tip of my finger to like the pointy part of my elbow deep. And I need to see how weird that'll be because basically what'll happen is, is we'll have to match the stain from the inside, but it's, there's just going to be like a, a thing kind of like jutting out here. So I don't know. I got to figure that out. Does that make sense? Like this part of the cabinet will be like right here in your face when you open the door. So I don't really, I don't really know. I don't know if I could like hide that in some way, like paint it the same color as the wall. I don't know, I don't know. So I would really like to use these cabinets though because they go almost all the way to the ceiling and I wanna use them to put all of the things that we get from you guys in it. I wanna kinda of like showcase all the stuff. And I figured like what better place than in my office, which is now kind of just a room full of things. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Wouldn't that be cool? I think it would be cool. But the other thing I was getting at is that maybe I could turn this guest bedroom into the office and then turn the office into the guest bedroom because that way I would have a ton of space to showcase all the stuff. I don't know, what do you guys think? Sorry, this has become kind of a weird house tour video, but there's just so many things that we're gonna be doing this year, so why not get your guys' opinion on it too, you know? Also, Bandit really loves this room because of the sun. Like, he he's so cute. He'll just like lay in the sun, and I think he likes it. He seems like he's feeling a little bit better, so I don't know, we'll see. All right, so now that I've taken some of the measurements upstairs, I'm gonna take care of these dishes that are finished, and I have laundry to do, and the bean wants me to take him outside now, and I'll probably catch up on a little bit of TV. But Tim will be home soon, yay! Happy uh, Thursday, everybody. We're at the, the pet store, as you can tell by the dog beds behind me, getting some stuff for the dogs. Not like dog beds, but we need some medications for them, so we're looking for it. Here's our question. Yes, it's true, Bandit has worms. Oh no, <laughs> Bandit came down with a case of the worms. So, uh, here's the question. For $9, we get a 12 count of this stuff, right? Broad spectrum dewormer. Or for $15, you get a two count of this stuff. But it's the exact same like, thing. Like literally. Yeah, because see, this I one contains found... 12 and this one contains two. What is the dosage? I don't get it. We are having the hardest time with this. Why is the 12 count $9 and the two count $15? Why would anybody buy the two count? It's for the same size dogs, same ingredients. It's like written a little bit bigger on the back of this one. I don't get it. They sell doggy band-aids. He's like, this cone's terrible. I like it. Let's do a band-aid instead of a cone. The cone. The way this fish is packaged looks like it's just kind of like laying in the packaging. But it's definitely wrapped. It's weird looking. Maybe tonight we can have some boiled goose. Checking out at the Target. Look at these things, but look at how creepy Olaf looks. I don't know if 
if I told you guys that we were at Target, but we were at Target, that's where the Olaf is, but we're not there anymore. We're at Sam's now. We gotta Wait. do lots of lots of grocery shopping. Guess what I got at Target? What did you get? Hold on, I'm trying to find it. It's the first one I've ever I've ever owned. You got an egg. I got one of these EO slip balm things. I'm like the last person on the planet to ever have one of these, but I got a one in tangerine because I love orange. I got a one in a tangerine. <laughs> For a mere $30, you can buy this entire pot roast in the pan and everything. All you do is <laughs> like dump it in the oven and it's done. Somebody was asking if we got these yet in America, which we do, but it's weird because it's like a little tiny baby package compared to the regular Oreos. Probably because it's cream cheese. Yeah. Mountain Dew kicking it up a step with their Kickstarts, their coconut water in there. That's good stuff. So we're back home, the crazy night of shopping. Because it's been so dry here recently, my hands have been cracking and everything, and good old Armani, his butt has been itching. So he's been itching it a little bit too much. Got him like a fluffy collar. Or, yeah, whatever these things are called. Inflatable collars, so Let's now see. you can't itch your butt. Let's see what he thinks. What do you think, Armani, do you like it? <laughs> do you hate it? I'm sorry, but you like your butt too much. Oh no. Not his actual like, I know we were talking about worms earlier with this one. Oh yeah, Armani not didn't his, have it's, them. It's, it's, it's this. You yeah. can kind of see how he's got like a little baldy, missing, a little bald butt. Missing some hair back there. Oh, you dogs. I know. Causing us all kinds of heartache. Right? Sorry. It's nights like this where I'm like, God darn you adulthood. Cause I, it's just us driving around all night and nothing happened tonight. We bought stuff for the dogs and then a public sub and that's it. Ah, the excitement of grocery night. It flies by like nobody's business. Look at that, 10.15, time for bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price.